drops. There's no time to waste. You try to do it. I am trying, but I need to stay undercover. I'm helping you as much as possible. So I'm the only one who's able to stop his crazy plans. Ryan, I believe you are the only man to save the world as we know it. And I'm doing my best to help you. Just join me. I can't. I'll be much more useful staying undercover. But you can fight him openly. Now listen, you're aboard the HMS Liberty. It's an aircraft carrier. Liberty? Oh, the irony. I had to pass you on to Admiral Jones, the ship's commander. But I'll help you get out. Finding Carlos is our only priority now. Wait, I don't feel so hot. This headache is killing me. You were poisoned. You need to heal yourself. Alright, so we got some shirtless Lennox action going on now. A little bit of eye candy for all the ladies. Yeah, I know you like it. All right. Please. I've lost my powers again. Damn. I gotta contact Lucius. No. I don't want to see you turn into a demon, Ryan. You've become addicted to infernal powers. Maybe I'll ask that psychotic general of yours for angelic ones then. Hey. Look, I'm defenseless now and I can't run down safe the world with this headache. Just tell me where my stuff is. Okay, okay. Your equipment is stored in the back of the ship. I'll guide you. Ryan, you're down on the sixth level of the aircraft carrier. This part of the ship isn't as heavily guarded as the upper decks. Watch for the security zones in the corridor. If unlocked, they become lethal gas traps. But they can be disabled. I saw sailors doing it somehow. Now, take a look in the next room. They probably keep some med kits there. The door is already open. Retrieve your equipment. Alright, so yeah, just one thing I wanted to uh, comment on as we uh, continue on with the mission here. Now with, uh, with that last cutscene and the whole... Uh, well, we've got to be careful here. That last cutscene and the whole plot of the game kind of being laid out, well, with the mind control and the free mention of free will and all that kind of stuff, it just mirrors that maybe or maybe not seem like some kind of passive-aggressive... Uh, reference to religion. Yeah. I'd be surprised. Seems like a tongue-in-cheek kind of thing this game would do, but whatever. Not going to comment on that any further, because that's just a be uh, breeding ground for trolls, especially on YouTube, so... Anyway, video games, shooting things. Yeah, so... Uh, can I actually shoot this camera or no? Okay, we can. Yeah, so this section of the game is... Actually, I don't want to come this way yet. I think there's another door back here. I might be able to get some health. Yeah, this section of the game, as you can already tell, you have no infernal powers. I don't even think... Yeah, I'm pressing the Y and B buttons right now. Can't even go into infernal vision or high-tech vision. High vision mode, I believe it's called. Okay, I can't go through that door. Yeah, so we're just back to the bare basics, punching and shooting and kicking. I don't even think our role... Yeah, we don't go invisible or intangible during our role anymore. But, uh, this section is actually kind of cool, I think. It forces you to play a little bit more conservatively, a little bit more stealthily. And there are some... Ah, gotta open all these doors manually and it takes a little bit of time. There we go. Yeah, and as, uh... Angela? Is that her name? <laughs> it's been so long since her name's actually been mentioned, I forget what it is already. Pretty sure it's Angela, though. But yeah, as she mentioned, there are health packs you have to kind of scavenge for. Yeah, they're in these little boxes here. More like pill capsules than they are 
Uh, first aid kits, but whatever. Oh, and I don't have any other guns, so I should be careful not to throw away ammo like I just did. No, I can't search that guy's corpse anymore. So, this chapter does switch things up a little bit. It's kind of cool, and... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that guy. I was just kind of leaving him be for a second there as he glitched out. I kind of don't mind this chapter. I think it's kind of fun. Switches things up a little by uh, stripping you of your powers. Uh, I'm not going to quite go that way yet. Okay, we can't go in there. Yeah, so this isn't the worst chapter in the game. Like I, I think I said earlier on, in one of the first episodes, in one of the first uh, two missions, rather. As I mentioned a while back, I, th I think I mentioned, um, I'm going to take things a little carefully here. Go. Okay, I just didn't even care. <laughs> okay, like I think I mentioned earlier, I may or may not have mentioned earlier, this game's kind of weird in the way that it gets not as bad later on. Some of the later missions, later parts of the game are better than the earlier ones. It's kind of weird when you think about it, usually with... Okay, their bodies still disappear, whatever. Kind of weird when you think about it. Usually with uh, off-the-wall and repetitive games like this, they would become more and more repetitive the further on you get. But not this one. It actually becomes a little bit more bearable the further along you make it. Kind of weird. Crew, this is Jones. We have a traitor among us. Someone set the prisoner from the sixth level free. Repeat, the prisoner has been... <coughs> Okay, I don't think there's anything worthwhile in here. Can we open the lockers? No. Ah, here we go. Also, it's 70. Well, not too bad. Uh, oh, I think I can shoot this camera if I back up a little bit here. There we go. I do want to say there probably is one really annoying section. <laughs> Again, there's like one per chapter per mission in this game. Kind of unavoidable. Uh, there we go. Nope, not quite a max health. Those appear to give you 20 health. I feel like once we escape this tanker... I'm going to be careful with what I say here, not to give too much spoilers as to what's ahead. As if it really matters, but... I feel like there's one annoying section once we escape the tanker here and get to the top level. Um, kind of getting lost. Okay, I think we're supposed to go through that door. Yeah. Opening these doors does tend to become a little bit tedious. I don't see the necessity of this. Oh, there we go. Get a little bit of health. Back to 100. Yeah, the, uh, the stealth is a little more emphasized on the higher difficulties since you lose health faster. You can see I've been screwing up a little bit and I'm still very, very well off as far as health is concerned. Not something you got to worry about. Oh wow, okay. I laughed cockily there, but then I got made a fool of because blowing up that canister set off the ones closer to me. Didn't think that would happen. But we got some more health and we're back to 100. Okay, Ryan, you're in the magazine. Search the lockers, maybe you'll find something useful. Then take the lift and go up to the hangar. I don't know what's in there, so please watch out. 
And I have no idea what these things are. I legitimately do not remember. Motion detection bombs. Okay. Uh, and I think, I think unlike the grenades, these are actually helpful. If memory serves. If what I think is coming up next is coming up next. Oh yeah. You don't want to mess with me. I had a really tough day. Oh yeah, you tell him, Lennox. Sure, that was very intimidating. Alright, so these mech loader things, they can absolutely drain your health. At least they could on um, infernal and even medium difficulty, so gotta be a little bit careful here. If I remember correctly, you can only damage them with explosives, so we gotta kinda train the guy around the room here next to these exploding barrels. Um, trying to be careful here. I'm not sure if they can blow those up and hurt you. Trying to not find out. Oh, nope. Again, even though you don't currently... Okay, they can blow up the barrels, and that's not good. He's getting very close. Ooh, we're getting out of here. Okay, we took him out. Not much of a problem. Uh, something tells me if I get hit by that attack, it's probably instant death, so... I don't want to play with that. Can I get up here? Okay. Takes about three or four of these to drop one of them. Uh, it's kind of a pain trying to lure them over. And I'm not sure... Really? Really? That had to set those off too? That's not even right. I'm gonna get a health because we're... 19 health off of max health. Not that bad of a uh, usage of a med kit. I seem to remember having a lot more trouble with this one. Infernal and even medium difficulty. More, no more annoying than anything trying to lure them over to the barrels without getting them to shoot them accidentally. Again, the idea is to Go as long as possible without actually using your motion detection bombs, since there's a limited number of them. Oh, we're gonna slide in here. Not sure if these guys can insta kill you just by touching you. Try not to let not to let that happen though. Come on, right in there. Nope. Will this be enough to kill you? Nope. And this is risky, I need to get out of here. And I just realized my health is at 20 something. Okay, it thankfully regenerates. Yeah, you're. That's bad. That's danger close. But yeah, if you notice, your health does still regenerate up to a point. Even though we're not uh, infernal right now. No, do not put me in a corner. Alright, I'm gonna try to use one of these now. Oh, no, no, no. I thought he threw them. Okay. Why is it so laggy in this section? Alright, and that guy... Uh, we're gonna go this way. That guy walked right past that one without getting blown up for whatever reason. Oh, we gotta act fast. Because they're right on my tail. Come on. Come on. Really? It takes forever for him to arm them, and then it takes it forever to actually finish arming itself and pop the little laser up. God. I keep getting these massive frame rate drops in this area. Come on. Right through here. That guy is smoking it on fire. If Grand Theft Auto has taught me anything, that means he's about to blow up. Good timing. Okay, and the other guy apparently committed suicide. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's it for the mechs. Make our way back into the actual ship hold now. Uh, 
Okay, what is our health at? We are at 90 health. I don't think there's any more first aid kits. I don't think that's one over there. And yeah, we're not going to bother searching the rest of the area. We should be fine. He's here. Over. Uh, trying to get headshots. It's a little tricky going upstairs. Okay, that was a camera, and for some reason, even though I could destroy it, it wasn't a camera that could actually detect me. It was a little odd. Um, which door? Alright. I don't know why that room even exists if there's no doors to open in it. Okay, I had a feeling there would be cameras in here. That's why I progressed so slowly. Um, there we go. Alright, we're doing good on health, doing good on ammo. Um, I'm running a bit hastily, I gotta go slow around the corners. Cause I do not know if any cameras are coming up. Okay, your equipment is here. Meet me on the upper deck. You have to get off now and hurry to the Everlight Satellite Center. A traitor! Lieutenant Mitchell has betrayed us! Hands up! Arrest her! Barbara! Mr. Lennox, I am awaiting you at the upper deck. You bet I'll be there. Black, I need my powers back. Somehow, I'm standing here and talking to you. Spooky, huh? Look, I know where Wolf's machine is. I don't trust you, Lennox. Same here, but I don't think we have any choice. Which seems to be the very foundation of our beautiful friendship. Now, my powers. They're actually mine. Look, time is not on our side. You still want the machine, or have your paps moved on to a new pet project? <laughs> 